energy. And, and then with, with regard to the point of unemployment, you know, Missouri's unemployment number is 8.3% uh, right now. This is the, the highest uh, number in, in 20 years. Uh, we in state government feel a duty to help get these people and their families back on their feet. Uh, we feel um, that if we're going to help them get back on their feet, let's help them get back on their feet into jobs that are going to help build the economy of the future. The next generation jobs, the green jobs, um, and we're, we're, we're committed to doing that. That's going to feed back into what can be done with regard to renewable energy and energy efficiency uh, more generally. So uh, Missouri has demonstrated that it can do well. Um, there's more opportunity and some external uh, prods um, for us. So I think it's time to move Missouri forward uh, at an even faster pace on these issues. We should turn Missouri into a showcase for good energy policy. And to do that, it's going to take all of us. And uh, before I start offering suggestions to others, I'll start off by offering suggestions to my own department. Uh, DNR has the opportunity to help create and craft a vision for what Missouri's energy future may be. Um, we have a responsibility to all of our citizens um, as individuals, as enterprises, as, co as corporations to talk about what a shared vision for um, Missouri's uh, energy base um, should be. Um, the state energy plan was last updated in the mid-1990s, um, created in the mid-1990s. Uh, under my leadership, we're going to have a new state energy plan and, and a new strategy. And I'm committed to engaging as many different stakeholders um, to make sure we have the benefit of their knowledge and understanding and perspective on these issues as we try to figure out where, we, where Missouri should be in 2020, 2030, and how we're actually going to get there. Um, we have an opportunity to collect and distribute the success stories. So I talked about some of those. I, there are other things that I've heard about in my time here. To, to pull together and uh, identify different resources and opportunities uh, in the state. That's something that DNR uh, has and will continue to do. Um, DNR has an opportunity to, to push and prod, uh, including state government, uh, to do more. Uh, we're having discussions uh, internally about uh, what's, what state government uh, may be able to do on some of these energy efficiency uh, opportunities. Because I f you know, my, my view is that we need to, to lead by example. Um, we led by example with the beautiful platinum lead building that the DNR is in, but what else can we do um, to, to take the power of, of state government uh, and show our support um, for these issues? And particularly with regard to energy efficiency, those investments will pay back um, and give more economic resources to the state that can either be invested or can be returned, uh, you know, return some of those taxes. So a DNR also has the opportunity to use the resources we have uh, in a more effective way. For example, we've worked really closely with our uh, community action partners uh, in weatherizing houses in low-income areas. I think that we have the opportunity to work um, even more in many communities to try and leverage those dollars with other dollars. So what's being done with uh, block grants? What, what's being done with other pieces uh, of money so that we're working in a coherent, um, collected manner to make sure that we're using the money um, for energy efficiency in, in the most uh, effective way? Uh, I think we have an opportunity and an obligation to help businesses um, uh, do well in the co competition for federal com uh, competitive grants. Um, you know, we, we, are help, you know, we want to be helpful um, in, in the recovery and reconstruction uh, efforts. One thing which I'd like to see us do is to continue work well with partners like the Chamber and others to see businesses and environmental and energy groups come together on a regular basis. I, I'm still learning. Uh, I, I hear that there is some good uh, discussion and dialogue in Kansas City and in St. Louis and maybe other areas, but I'd like to see even more sort of at a, at a state level where DNR can help convene and, and find some areas of opportunity where, where we can work together. Maybe the state energy plan is actually a place to start um, by, doing, by doing real work and then see sort of what happens from there. And, and of course, uh, DNR is going to work uh, closely with the General Assembly on, on what are the appropriate uh, in incentives um, for all, all parties involved, whether utilities, um, consumers of energy as commercial enterprises or industrial enterprises, and for the residences as well. <coughs> and just one other thought about what DNR can do. Um, we can be helpful when we're trying to attract and to grow businesses. Ag again, um, I, I think DNR, uh, the Energy Center has done, has done very good work. Um, but people see DNR as the permitting, either you know, permitting and parks. Um, but 
So uh, how can we be perceived not just as, uh, you, know, you know, you hear the expression, you know, I'm the IRS and I'm here to help you. Uh, I think some people may have the impression, oh, we're DNR and we're here to permit you. Um, and and that, that provides a very valuable service in many ways. But uh, can we show up with having a person who's both sort of the, the permitting person to make it easier to help people navigate that, i.e. back to good service, and also a person who says, I'm the energy expert inside of DNR. What can we do to help you make sure that you're using energy as efficiently as possible, either with your current operations or as you're thinking about growing? Not, from a, not at all from a regulatory perspective. That's, that's not DNR's role on the energy side. Entirely from a, what kind of service can we provide uh, to people to make sure that we as a state are using our energy resources um, wisely. Uh, I, th I think, uh, uh, so those are some thoughts. I'm sure you all have many other ideas about what DNR can do, and I look forward to hearing that. Uh, just a couple of other thoughts. Uh, I think the utilities are, of course, uniquely positioned. Um, they are the operators or the purchasers uh, of power um, and can, can and will make a big difference with regard to renewable energy. Uh, utilities also have a, an important distribution channel. I mean, I, I, either through, through the wires or even just through the regular touches of billing, for example. Uh, that's an opportunity to influence consumer behavior. Um, the utilities have data. They can crunch the numbers about whether someone who lives in a similarly sized house, if, you know, if, if I, in, in my uh, 2,000 square foot uh, house, am using more or less energy than other people in my area. Right? The utility, you, know, you can merge different data sources and, and proactively offer that information to say, here's some, you know, you're running way above um, what others in your, your neighborhood might be. Maybe there's some opportunities that you can, can look at. And um, I know we've got many different utilities here and they're doing lots of different things. Uh, I, I've seen resources where people can go to the web and input certain information, which is incredibly valuable. But, but, that, but that's sort of a pull. If, if, if utilities can help push some of this information out, again, through their distribution channels, uh, I, th I think there's a real opportunity there. And then also, um, in sort of working with, uh, with the DNR as well. Um, we're trying to make sure our weatherization funds are going to the, the best uh, places possible in terms of getting the biggest bang for the buck for energy efficiency uh, within the constraints. Our, our, our community action partners putting the money in the right places. Um, I, I, I'm a data-driven kind of guy. Um, so uh, I, I like, would like to try and figure out what are the different sources of data that we can look at to figure out, okay, are these the neighborhoods or the blocks um, where we've got the greatest opportunity? And this is where sort of collaboration um, within the constraints that we all face um, can lead to a better energy outcome um, for the state. Uh, should comment, of course, because we're at the, at the university here, that we need help from researchers, both sort of the theoretical and the applied. Uh, I think on biofuels and some of these other areas, solar as well, you know, we in Missouri and others in these industries generally will benefit from more research um, and how to make uh, some of these renewable sources even more affordable. But also in terms of applied social science, helping us identify what are the tipping points in consumer behavior. Uh, I presume that the marketing people and the social scientists figured out that by putting something at eye level, you can actually sell more of them. So Walmart was, in a certain sense, leveraging the kinds of social science insights that people develop here when it put compact fluorescent light bulbs at eye level and put them on the end caps and sort of harnessed some great social science uh, observations with some basic economics and really transformed the opportunities in, inside, of, um, inside of the state and inside of the country. This goes back to, again, how do we leverage the, the economic power of industry to help advance a proactive uh, energy agenda. And I'm also excited about um, working with, again, our, uh, our legislators um, to create the right kinds of economic incentives and structure to promote energy efficiency, renewable energy, and energy independence. Um, so to, to wrap up, um, uh, I and the department are going to have a both-and approach to environmental issues and economic development. I think you'll see that particularly in regard to the energy area, but to other uh, areas as well. Uh, we have a lot we can be proud of as Missourians. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity, and so we should just you know, roll up our sleeves and get to work. And I very much look forward to talking more with each of you, um, uh, the different groups uh, that you're a part of, um, and to figure out what the right future for Missouri is going to look like in energy and environment. Thank you so much for your time.